Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. As you can see at the top there, it says Day 7000. Yes, this is going to be the end of the Rags Riches series. It has come to a conclusion. It's time to move on. So here's what we're going to do today. I gathered up every single thing that I have that is of any sort of sellable value. Where'd RoboCap go? And I'm going to go over and sell everything that I can, basically, and then see how much money I can get from it to see where our total actually is. And then I went through and did some serious rebuilding of the base. So I have an entirely new rebuilt horde base over there. Same location, same style. I just did some upgrades and some repairs to it uh, with the supplies that I already had with me. So it should be... Hello? No, not you. It should be pretty good to go. And then we're going to run it against the day 7000 horde. And see how well it goes. One good final hurrah to bid farewell to this series. Also, just in case you can't tell, my voice sounds a little different if I get a little weird voice crack in there. Allergies swooped in this last week, kicked my butt. Thank you, game. Gave me a sore throat and a congested head. So if I get the squeaks or my voice just bottoms out or something, that's why I'm fighting a bit of a head cold. Anyway, I posted a secret poll to my Patreon and YouTube members and asked them if I should move on with this series, uh, just go out with a bang and move on to like maybe a mod overhaul. And it was unanimous on all platforms. Yes, I absolutely should. And so that's what we're doing. Hey, RoboCap, come here. I need my sugar butts. He's been... Where, where did he go? Hey, get your butt up here. What are you doing? You know, I pre... Are you stuck under this? You've been having problems lately, man. Every time while I was trying to go through and repair in the base, he kept getting all up in the way and just, just causing all kinds of problems. Come here. Okay, for seriously, dude. What is your malfunction? I'm almost to the point where I'm going to be glad you're gone when the next series. Although, having my uh, mobile medic kit and stuff's going to... Okay, screw you guys. Come here, <laughs> you big idiot. All right, come here. All right, I'm going to take my sugar butts. Okay, so a lot of you guys said that since I have the 44, the Desert Eagle, the Dolcher, basically, that I can use this as my bonus instead of having to switch over. Also, I'm turning in what I got from him last time um, from doing the quest going over there and back. So I'm going to select that one and let's see. You're, you sell for slightly more. I'll take you. Yeah, that'll work pretty good. All right, let's sell all the stuff we have and see how much money we can get. All right, not too bad. We rocked out, let me see, 20, 40, 51,000. That's not too bad from all the stuff we had just sitting around. Now, a lot of that stuff I've been kind of hanging on to. I went through and used as many of my mods as I could since this is going to be the last episode. Now, if anybody's interested in wondering why, the series has gone on for a good long time. I mean, prior to this one, we were up to day 71 or 72. So it's gone on for a while. It's gotten very long in the tooth, basically. And uh, the interest in the series has definitely waned a long time ago to the point where it's kind of hurting the channel. The, um, you know, this is my business or whatever, so I have to do what's best for the channel to keep growing. So those of you who've been invested in the series and you're still watching every single video, no, you don't know how much I truly do appreciate that. But it's time to move on. So let's see how much money we ended up with total here. Move you right over there and put you there. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five thousand five hundred and eighty one thousand three hundred and ninety nine monies. That's how much we ended up with. Now there's random things that I could I get everything from there. There's random things I could probably sell. You know, I got one puffer coat I could sell for $130. I could probably go through and grab some of this stuff and sell for a little bit, but at this point it's like nickel and diming it. I'm like, ooh, I could take all my nails for $150 or for $55, but eh, it's not really what I'm caring about. And what I did also is I made myself the SMG since we got the schematic last time. So I'm gonna bring those with me. Let's see, I'm not going to need some of these tools. Or at least I want to say I'm not going to need them. And then we get over there and I'll realize, hey, you know what it would have been good to have? The tools that you got rid of? Probably. I have a decent chunk of ammo over at the base. I've got a decent chunk of ammo here. I'm going to take what I have. There's a bunch of shotgun ammo over there. So I'm not going to worry about taking all that with me. 
All right, I think we are good to go. Now this is gonna be a day 7,000 horde, so there's gonna be a lot of zombies. Let's see, what did I put the game stage up to? 216, last, we were seeing demo zombies last time as soon as the day started, basically. So we're gonna fly over and I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the horde base. I did a few tiny little topping offs to the um, backup base, the auto garage, it was right next to it. I basically just repaired some of the foundation wall, um, support walls and stuff. That way if I do have to make my way back over there, that I can, you know, at least have something to be able to hang on to. So anyway, let's head over here. But real quick, yeah, so the interest in the series has definitely gone down. It happens. That's and not nobody's at fault here. That's just what happens when a series runs that long. But again, as I said, this is my job. So I have to do what's best for um, keeping the business going here. We know Alpha 21 is right on the horizon. They estimated it that it might be out by May sometime. And right now it's middle of April. So I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do, and I've already posted it in the poll, the secret poll for the Patreon and YouTube members, is probably play the Wild West mod. I've had a lot of people asking me to play that one, and we could jump in, we could get, you know, 15, 20 days into it before Alpha 21 gets there, and have just a good time with it. So hopefully you guys will be around for that. So anyway, let's get over here real quick, and uh, then I'll show you guys what all I did. All right, let's show you guys what I have here. So I used all the supplies I had to do a full reinforcement of here. Let me climb up here. So first thing I did was I went ahead and built uh, multiple stairs to get up here. It's all pyramid style, so they still have to stop and jump. But that way, if they get dumb and break off one side of it, there's still multiple ways to get up here. Once they get here, they have a secondary jump spot. I have it go over two different paths now, so there's two ways for them to get the funnel in and fall off. I'm keeping this set up the same way it was over there. I've got two blade traps. I've got my electrical wire going from from hold on where's the other where's my other electric post I was literally just what okay it's literally it was right there a minute ago I don't know what happened to it okay I'll fix that before we get started no big deal and then I reinforced everything else. I got the SMG turret pointing up this time, so it'll actually shoot out some of the zombies. So we got some blade traps. We'll have the electrical trap going here so they can get all nice and electrocuted. Hopefully a lot of them will fall off. I got it reinforced. I fixed the ground underneath and got it upgraded. So hopefully if you just decide to start blowing up and doing their thing, that it won't absolutely ruin me. And then I repaired and built the steps back over here so that I can get up and down. Because they went ahead and ruined all this last time. See, I even had to rebuild the stairs over here so that I could get back up and down. So, that's all we have left to do is the day th 7,000 horde. I'm going to get everything ready to go. And we're going to be ready to um, take on this little fight and see what we can do. So, we'll be back here in just a minute. All right, coming down to the last couple minutes before the horde shows up here. This ought to be a nice, devastating horde. If I die or the base fails, that's totally fine. We're going out in a gun the uh, blaze of glory, and hopefully it works out well. Before we even get into it, I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody that stuck around all the way to the end of this series. I truly, truly do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely phenomenal. I love being able to converse with you guys. We have a fantastic community, and I'm proud to be a part of it, and I'm happy that you guys are a part of it as well. So here we go. Let's see what happens. See how many of them make it up here right off the bat here. Okay. Let's see. So we got the blade traps going. Uh, let's see. If so, if any of them kind of run a little bit far, they should get hit by that. Get launched over into it. That'll be good. Sledgy is fully repaired and ready to go. Oh, before we even get started, let's see. We're at 5,000 kills, zero player deaths. 5,018 kills. So let's see where we end up by the end of it, shall we? And where I have the blade traps and stuff now, I can absolutely repair it as I need to. Because those blade traps take a lot of damage. Alright, let's get some SMG action in here. Lovely. Okay, so far so good. It's working out pretty good. Decent little stack right there. But we got plenty of ammo for now. We'll see as the night goes on. Uh, let's see. Might as well go ahead and get a Molotov over here. See if we can not set ourselves on fire this time. A couple times would be great. See how well this works out. So this base is pretty much the exact same uh, layout as the last one other than just it's reinforced and I've got two entry paths now into the main area over here in, instead of just the one. Blade trap still doing good. Go ahead and top you off real quick just to keep you nice and beefed up here. I need to not use my shotgun if at all possible just so I don't accidentally blow part of my own base away. No exploders yet. Just a whole bunch of radiateds and that's fine. You got the click. 
Uh, with all them getting electrocuted as well as they're doing, I'm gonna have to repair this electrical fence real soon, I bet. Let me see where you're at here. Go ahead and just keep you topped off. Oh, this is working out. This is working out nice. But then again, it started working out nice last time, and then everything went to crap here. So, Alpha 21 should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to from what we've seen so far. It's not a dramatic change for me, 20, but there's enough changes and stuff there that it could make for some new gameplay. Like the fact that there's no longer water bottles or, you know, jars of water. You have to make a little water collector, that sort of thing. You know, just small little changes here and there could make it a lot of fun for sure. And I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. Should be a pretty good fun time, and hopefully you guys are around for it. And, you know, if I could give you guys one piece of advice that would, you know, as a creator, a content creator, that would help me out a lot, would be just, you know, watch the videos when you can. Um, leave comments if you're able to. Um, leave likes on the videos because it helps out a whole, whole lot. And that's pretty much all, you know, that we could ever ask for in terms of being a creator. So just watch the videos when you can. And, um, you know, uh, something that people don't know is that if you click on a video and you just, like, I'll click on it, click like, and then leave the video, it hurts it more than it helps it. So, you know, if you're able to watch more than 30 seconds of it, it helps out a lot. If not, you know, I understand completely. And just know that, you know, for everybody who's able to help out with channel memberships and Patreon, stuff like that, it helps out tremendously. Okay, so SMG Tour is doing some work up there, which is good. This is working out better than the last base did so far. Let's see, we are only an hour into it, so we still got a long, long ways to go. I don't know if I have enough 762 ammo or not, but we'll see. Keep these idiots nice and warm. There we go. Love it. You get you love to see it. Uh, now nah, I'm not going to use the handgun. I've got an SMG that I just built. I want to use it. This thing just absolutely rinses, man. SMG is a good gun. I wish I'd had this S uh, this schematic earlier. As much 9mm ammo as I have. It would have been great to have, you know. So far, we haven't seen any cops yet. We've seen a whole bunch of radiated whites, but that's about it. And that one's crawling. He's like, help me, man. Decent check. All right, let's check on the repairs on this one. Let me top you off real quick, just in case. Uh, let's see. You top you off. Top you off. Keep you all nice and topped off here. And then we don't have to worry about, you know, everything going to crap. Here. Sledgy's doing his job. Yeah, we haven't seen a single exploder yet. Haven't seen any cops yet, which I'm okay with. We've gotten tagged a couple times, like that right there. You know, some of them get a little bit overzealous when they run up here. This is not a fully um, unmanned base, basically. I mean, you can't just sit up here and do nothing. Eventually, they'll start doing enough damage to it. The blade traps and electricity, it'll definitely do some work, but it's not as much as, you know, me just firing ammo down range here, so... Yep, this is working out nicely. You know, we did all this upgrades and stuff that way we could keep the exploder from ruining things. And so far, we haven't seen the single exploder, so I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll keep lighting these idiots on fire. I mean, it just passed midnight, so we can always see a lot more people showing up. These towers down here, oh, that's just lovely. Look at all of that. Look at that. That's fantastic. Let's do another one here. That's just lovely. Hey, while we got a second. Uh-oh. There's a cop right over there. Hold on, let's get out of his line of sight. Yeah, I saw you. What did... Oh, you son of a... How? It's... Oh, that's not good. Man, Carl, how did your vomit blow this up? There's two layers thick right there. All right, Sledge, so it's going to be just me and you because Carl's a freaking idiot. How the hell did his vomit make it through two layers of concrete when it didn't even hit me? That's not cool. Carl, you bastard. Well, okay, this base was working great. I mean, it kind of still is a little bit, but now we lost some of our uh, helpers. Get rid of Carl. Okay, so, so far so good. Yeah, not having the electricity going there is definitely going to cause some problems there because they're no longer slowing down. Sludge is going to have to put in some overtime. Carl, you got a lot of you got a lot of stamina, sir. I just saw somebody else explode over there. 
It's after midnight. It hits you right in the cheeks with it. No, don't do it. Put that right over there. That's just a lot of zombies. Oh, also, uh, you know, I mentioned why my voice sounds weird and stuff, but I, I apologize. I'm going to try and make sure I edit out any kind of throat clearing or cough or anything like that I have going on here. But I, I apologize in advance. Can't really do anything about it. Allergies just walked in and kicked my butt this year for some reason. I don't know why they were so bad this year compared to normal. Don't do it, Carl. I need you to go ahead and go down, sir. Well, this is definitely going to just turn into a quarter-style base where it's going to be up to me to do all the work now. Me and Sledgy, we got it, buddy. This is how we go out, right here. Ride or die, you and me. Doing okay so far. Let me make sure that nothing bad's happened over here. Hey. Quit it. You big maroon. Okay, let's get some reloads. I'll duck behind this so they can't shoot at me for a second. Spit at me, I should say. Haha, -ha, you missed, Carl, you beavis. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, we got an exploded going on here. This sounds like it was Carl. He's a gusher. Look at this, man. We're just straight rinsing these guys. Okay, let me get a little fire over there. That ought to help out a little bit. Get you over here, light you guys on fire. That'll soften them up a bit while we're reloading. Sledge it, you're doing a fantastic job. Don't ever let anybody tell you differently. Me and you, buddy. There's a reason why I've used this base as many times as I've had. This style of base, having Sledge you there. Uh, just because it's fantastic. It does a good job. Is there better bases? Absolutely. This one has worked for me. I used a similar style base even in the uh, the Wasteland Warrior series. Worked just fine too, all the way up to day 70 something. Are you big guys? There's a lot of big hosses right y'all. Okay, so y'all are all funneling down the other side now. Is there a specific reason or are you just trying to mix it up? It's okay. Let Sledge keep doing what he's doing. This is this is okay. This is okay. Man, we're just wrecking up that XP. Don't do it, Carl. I see you back there. Are you dead? Hold on, there's, is there a pileup? What's going on over here? Is it just bottlenecks because y'all are slow and there's too many of you? Oh, you love to see that. Let's throw another one in there help out. There we go. That way make sure everybody gets even time with the fire. Sometimes what I might do when these style bases too is instead of using blocks on the side ones here, use uh, the center poles because the zombies have a really hard time balancing on those. So when they're running full bore at you, they can fall off a lot and so you end up with the looping base which is i like doing that because it gives me a chance to i'm not always on my heels you know the bases where they have to just go through a dozen different hatches and bars uh oh that sort of thing um they work pretty good but uh you don't really get much reprieve so if they i need to do some repairs real quick all right so we got the boomers here repair you and repair you real quick the ones, like I said, where you just like hide behind different hatches and stuff, they work okay, but it's basically just you and the base at that point. Uh-oh. Nah, that's not going to be You didn't ruin anything, did you? Uh, you did some work here. Let me fix this real quick. I don't have any cement on me, really? Okay. For some reason, it's not doing the repair from chest on that option there. Okay. Sure, why not? Well, there's that. It's two, ow, it's two o'clock in the morning. Let me use a first aid real quick. Sledge A, you're doing a good job. I'm gonna, I need you to step it up just real quick. There's a bunch right there in front of us. See that? Yeah. Okay, here, I'll help out. Don't hit the green button. By the way, also, if you're doing any kind of using the sledge you are here to help out with your bases, put them on the right side because he won't hit the demos button. If you put them on the left side, there's a good likely chance that he'll hit the demolition zombies button and because it like aims for chest high and the buttons on the left side. So 
pro tip put it on the right side so that it hits them on their left side reload again Carl you can go all the way to hell sir we're doing all right we're doing okay we got tagged a couple times base took an explosion but we're doing okay this if I had the electricity and the blade traps would probably be going a little better but not too bad for now See them going right down this middle lane here. I can just kind of, you know, spray and pray here. Alright, almost 3 a.m. Still a whole lot of zombies down here. It's okay. We've only seen a couple demolition zombies so far. It hasn't been too bad. Cannot believe you puked through the walls. I had thought about trying to see if I could set up a secondary sledgey over here as well, but you gotta have your robotic skill in level 10 for that, and I just didn't have enough skill points to get all the way up there to be able to use two robots. So I didn't bother. I didn't even bother with it. One's doing good. He has worked with this for 70 days now so far. He doesn't need help. He can totally maintain by himself. I'm gonna keep Carl from doing... Now, this is going pretty good. We got a little bit less than an hour till the end of bingo hour. Now, um, of course, we still have to kill all the zombies that are still here, but they at least stop spawning. See a couple more cops in there. If we No, don't do it. Set all of you idiots on fire. That definitely... That's still a lot of zombies for sure, but it's a good thing we got some Molotovs. We still got a decent chunk of ammo. Slade, you're still putting in some work. The base is still standing, which by this time last week, or uh, day 70 horde, uh, it had already collapsed and we had to fall back to uh, our secondary. Level 94, baby. Seven skill points. Nope. Reload faster. Carl, I need you to go ahead and back all the way up, sir. Carl can take a whole lot of ammo, that's for sure. Hey. I heard an explosion. Carl, did you get all pissy down there again? There's a lot of whites in this horde. There's a lot more whites in this horde than we've seen in other hordes so far. I mean, I'm glad we haven't seen as many exploders and demolition zombies. Let me make sure. Okay, so y'all are all piling up right there on the stairs. That works out nicely for me because then I can... Look at that. See, if you make it so that they have to go up and down stairs instead of... Uh, blocks instead of stairs, they, uh, they go... You know, much slower. It gives you a chance to kind of bottleneck them in one place here. Jiggles, I appreciate your tenacity, but get out of my base. That's why I always like making um, blocks for them to have to stop them. Because anytime a zombie has to jump, they have to climb, they have to stop, think about it for a second, and then jump. And so, you know, if you just have stairs, they can just sprint up the stairs and it doesn't, they don't even slow down. We survived! Oh, yeah. Go ahead and reload you, reload you. We survived, baby. Horde night is not over. We still gotta finish rinsing the rest of these idiots out of here, but all we have left to do now is clean up. That's fantastic. How many more are left over here? There's, it's starting to dwindle for sure. It's definitely starting to dwindle in numbers. Yeah, I hear you screaming at me. Last time we had like three or four screamers show up right at the very end too. It just made the horde not last even longer. And then we had some bears and some dogs show up. It was it was a good pucker time for sure. How many more? Oh, that's not too many left over here. Yeah, I hear you. Big Al. You, you fell off the step, sir. Try again. There you go. All the way down you tumble. I'm trying to save you the trip up here, but you don't seem to be able to make it. Uh, here, Screamer. Samara, where are you? There you are. I need you to go ahead and just shut all the way up. I don't need you to call any of your friends. I think that's it. Let's run down there and see. 
that is it. Look, okay, so we had a couple explosions here. We didn't lose any integrity to our base. A little bit. I mean, it's getting kind of close in some places, but it definitely did okay. How'd they do on the steps over here? Not too bad. Not too bad. That's fantastic. Let me have a look up right over here and see what this looks like. Okay, so yeah, they peppered the building a little bit, but not too bad. Let's see where we ended up on total kills. 5,596. So we had almost 600 zombie kills that night. We were, what, 24 away from 600 kills? That's not bad. That's a pretty good final horde night. And we actually survived. Well, guys, that is going to do it from the Rags to Riches series. Truly do appreciate all the support that you guys gave on this series. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys absolutely rock. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when we go live with the next one. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one.